How do you approach those cases that have a lot of gut involvement? The gut is very well connected with our immune system. And many times we see these kind of problems overlapping. How do you approach it in your practice? 70% of our immune cells lie in the gut. The majority of your immune system lies in the gut. So that's where you come in contact with the majority of the inflammation and pathogens. The other 20-ish percent is in the lungs. These are the areas that come in contact with the outside. The science here is constantly changing and evolving. So how that translates to our world is having a healthy gut. There's a good chance that whatever condition you are dealing with, the outcomes will probably be better. Diet and lifestyle changes are a big part of my practice because you can't just fix everything with medication. There's a lot that you can do on your own. The other variant of that is you can't fix everything with just lifestyle modifications either. So it's a combination of the two. Gut health is very important, so we I focus on that. We spend a lot of time trying to figure out if they're doing the right things, if their gut health is appropriate or adequate. I can pretty much tell you that Almost 90 to 95% of the patients that I come across don't have the best practices in terms of gut health. I can pretty much guarantee that we can make some kind of progress if they're open to it.